Oh, what's up, Moon Village? It's your boy Lunar. We vibing, bro. Our gang in this thing. It's late as fuck. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we finna rock out. It's this video that came across my feed, and I wanted to react to it with y'all. And uh, it's by uh, Adamant Mindset. Now let's go over to it. And it, it's titled, Women Are Losing Easy Get Rich Plan Since Men No Longer Want to Date. And uh, y'all know, let me go back to myself. Y'all know here in this world recently, since the dating apps, women have made it very awful for men to date. You can't, and then on top of TikTok and stuff, like you can't even as a as a guy, you can't even go up to a little lady you see out, you know, walking or whatever. You can't even go out to go up to her without her looking at you in utter disgust. And don't don't be somebody that like you know they think they all that and then they get home and make a tiktok and then say how disgusted they was and then on top of that you got a lot of women who make tiktok saying all men should just fall off the face of the earth and all men should die or men ain't shit or we don't need them all because the same 20 percent of men that they be going after ain't shit and those men can pick up any girl they want to because all women are going after the same 20 percent of dudes and so be they think all men ain't shit because of the same 20 percent of dudes and that's their fault and you know and then you got the dudes who just don't have any self-conscious no no nothing about themselves that they can latch on to no confidence so you know they're never ever going to speak to a girl or go out of their way to speak to a, a female in public you know because they don't want to be labeled a creep in this and a third because women will put that on you so quick and they don't want to be called that and they don't want to be labeled that so it's just really rough out here for majority of dudes and i feel sorry for them because you know in my head rejection is just it's just yes or no what's the worst they could say you know what i'm saying but now we live in a time to where women have just made it abund abundantly clear that they don't want to be bothered by men but in reality they do want to be bothered by them just the same 20 percent of men and they want the same 20 percent of men to act right and those 20 percent of men never gonna act right so i'm not gonna ramble let's get into it and then i can you know say my thoughts throughout the video or after the video just depends but uh let's start here you don't need to go through the rejection and the expense and the humiliation and working out and having a plan and humor and showering to get a romantic relationship you have you you have essentially a group of men who are saying, I want a low risk entry into life. And they go down a rabbit hole when they don't have social connections and they don't get out and they don't have the prospect of a romantic relationship. They're more prone to conspiracy theory. They're more prone to misogynistic content. They're less likely to believe in climate change change. And some they come become really bad citizens. We are producing too many of the most dangerous person in the world. But this is just pure comedy at this point. And that's just a segment from the video I'm going to show you now. So this is going to be very entertaining to watch and see how these idiots trying to figure out how dating is and why men are away from dating any woman. A growing number of younger Americans aren't dating. They're not hanging out and no, they're not even hooking up. For so many women who want to date men, dating has become a total nightmare. And there are a number of reasons why. I have heard from all. Yeah, and they're gonna name every reason except for like. So one thing I've noticed, and that I get from like you know, when I'm listening to my little cousin or my brothers or just you know stuff that like I get sent. A lot of women have the illusion of options, so like you could be a good guy, but if you know chad or fucking uh 
Dion is throwing her some kind of hint that he wants to fuck, you automatically are going to be put on hold no matter what. And then if she got four other dudes messaging her, sending her Snapchats, for, I mean, it's not Snapchat, sending her, uh, uh, damn, what's the damn app? Cash apps for lunch and stuff. You automatically fall to the, to the wayside. And so all those other dudes sending her cash apps and t texting her good morning stuff, they don't have a chance, but they simping trying to get her attention but none of them gonna hit Dion gonna hit and she gonna be waiting till Dion cuffs her and but Dion ain't gonna never cuff her because he he got a plethora of bitches why should he settle down with just you he can go he can text any girl on his phone to do what he want and they all gonna jump up and do whatever the fuck you want so why should he settle down with just her but she don't know that and she don't care and she don't realize that or what's worse a lot of them do know that and they do know that they're going through that and guess what they do not care they still want Dion and so Dion gonna run through him and then when he get tired of her then she gonna come to you and be like hey such and such you know what I'm saying but by then you got tired of waiting on her, tired of messing her, and then you probably didn't realize that, you know, she wanted somebody else. And so when she doubled back to you, because you're the good dude that would have treated her right and stuff, she didn't got ran through. And now, you know, you don't want her. And then she becomes bitter. And that's just the cycle. And it's just like they 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 wasting their time with Dion, and they all know it but hope i'm pretty sure this woman right here that's talking in the blue she not even gonna acknowledge that like how women have the illusions of options and so and this is another thing i've realized like a female will tell a dude tell a good dude right you gotta earn me or you gotta uh, basically prove that you're worthy for her to stop talking to Dion who's getting everything for free he ain't gotta prove shit and then give her a reason basically to cut off all her simps that's just be giving her free money and free food or whatnot, and they not hitting it you gotta be worthy to hit it or whatnot. but Dion ain't gotta do shit my boy if they like you they like you and once they start saying all that bullshit, bro, get up out of there. A lot of young women who want to date young men that there are none. Mm -hmm. There are no guys. They're trying to connect. They often use dating apps, but find a total lack of connection. And it seems that the men. And that's another thing with dating apps. I don't understand the use of the data apps because they're not they're automatically gonna swipe right swipe left on you bro you're not even gonna get a chance on a date now you know what i'm saying and it's sad my boy it's sad they are meeting don't really share the same priorities if they show up women especially career driven women say the men they're meeting are more interested in sex and not looking for a deeper connection and that it's becoming more and more of a problem so what's changing because not that long ago, people used to meet each other through work, let's be honest, or through friends, maybe at a bar or in a college campus. Yeah, because it wasn't weird for you to go up to somebody at a bar or at a college campus and tell them that you was interested or say, you, hey, I want to get to know you. And it wasn't awful to take somebody to go get coffee to get to know them or something simple so you can get in an environment that's face to face and just learn each other now that shit is taboo so of course they not going man come on now and it gave people a chance to actually learn about each other to break through the filters to demonstrate kindness and show commitment and values to actually earn affection but today 
So many people are living life through a screen. They're not going out nearly as much, not to church, not to movies, or even to the office. Opportunities to fall in love are falling by the wayside, meaning people are making decisions by swiping left on their smartphones rather than truly learning to connect the highs, the lows, the disappointments, all of that stuff. Wow, they try online dating apps and wonder why men don't stick around or have deeper connection. They just want to sleep around and then just move on. They really wonder why that's happening. A little bit of study or just Google search will let you know that only 10 or just 5% of men get selected on these dating apps. These men have so much option that they can sleep around almost every day with different women. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of option dating apps give them. And then they wonder why such men don't stick around. It's a very simple math, but they just don't understand it. And before understanding why men don't stick around, you should figure out why women aren't qualified enough for most men. Because look at them, modern women aren't worth it. And it's affecting mental health too. According to a recent study of people over the age of 18, those who used swipe-based dating apps experienced significantly higher rates of psychological distress, anxiety, and depression. Another study showed a link between using dating apps and experiencing loneliness, dissatisfaction with life, and this is a big one, a feeling of exclusion from the world, feeling so left out. And when women do go to coffee shops, what we're hearing is that they try or to a club or the grocery store or anything where they get out and interact with people, they say the men that they want to meet just don't share their ideals. It's partly because so many young men are spending their lives also logged in, overly influenced by a flood of whatever you can find online, porn, video games, toxic masculinity who needs the real thing when you can get something uh better and i put that in quotes by scrolling here's what scott galloway professor of marketing at nyu told us on morning joe about some of the reasons why men are becoming like this see what they did there all of a sudden they try to put all the blame on men without realizing that the woman only chose the good looking guys which are very rare even in, even on those coffee shops or uh, supermarket. That's, yeah, that's, I'm gonna add on to that. So like what, you know, she's missing too. Like she says men, yes, ma majority of men don't want to deal with all that because they know they're not going to get a swipe right. They know that they're going to get, you know, called a creep. Like being called a creep, especially like, you know, to white dudes and stuff like that that's like worse than scum you know what i'm saying to be labeled a creep and then you know they don't want to be you know and then they got porn and then like only fans is just made it awful you could like a girl in your city and then she make an only fans for 599 you can see everything about her so now you got this weird parasocial relationship to where you're paying to talk to her and so it's just like why should you even if, if a dude can sit there and pay to talk to you, you know, and then get you to say his name and stuff while you diddle dally down there, and that's all he needs to do, why would he go out of his way to date you in real life? Why would he go out of his way to, like, want a, a, a real connection with you when he can, you done gave the goods out to everybody? Like that's weird, and then it's a lot of dudes who are gonna who are just virgins, who would take that option, and in their head they're fine because they actually got to see you, somebody that they know in their town that they've been you know googly eyes over for years, and then now they finally get to see you, and then you know pay you to you know fan so they can finish their fantasies in their heads in the shower, then they gonna hop on the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's easier for them to pay $4.99 and an extra $5 to get you to say their name 
during, you know, sexual things. So they can have their fantasy, save their video, and they can always have that. And then they go in the game. And then with regular regular dudes, they know that they're going to get rejected and all this stuff because it's just how society, it's just how women in today's time have made, you know, approaching them. Like, bro, like, as soon as you approach a girl, you're on a TikTok. You're on, a, you're on Instagram real. You know what I'm saying? Don't even get me started about the, the sad bros at the gym who just be trying to work out. And, like, and then especially, like, somebody like me who, like, just zone out when you're working out. Like, bro, those dudes who just be zoning out, you just so happen to be in front of them, now you on TikTok and shit like that. So, like, and it's just, like, you, you're labeled some weirdo. Why would they, why would they actually try anymore? No dude wants to try anymore. Like, and I don't blame them. I do not blame them, bro. It's sad. They or whatever they're trying to find, they're only looking for good looking guys who are tall and all that stuff. And they're probably looking for a guy who's spending more just to assume that he's earning more. They're doing all that stuff. And then they wonder why such men are not uh, choosing them because such men already have common sense that women are going to pick on them on certain situation are very desperate. Only desperate women do that. And then they don't want such kind of woman. Let's be honest. I think you have the most talented, well-resourced people in the world and companies trying to convince a young man that he can have a reasonable facsimile of life in his basement behind a screen. You don't need friends. Go on Reddit or Discord. You don't need to get a job. Go on Robinhood or Coinbase and trade crypto and stocks. You don't need to go through the rejection and the expense and the humiliation and working out and having a plan and humor and showering to get a romantic relationship. You have you porn. So we have an entire generation, especially of young men who are out home sequestering from society and missing out on what it means. You know, there's a reason romantic comedies are two hours and not 15 minutes. True victory in life is hard. Going out, meeting someone, finding mentors, finding mates. That stuff is hard, but that's. See, somebody like him irritates me, too, because they're like just putting the blame on men and not acknowledging like this. Is, it takes two to tango. How all those dudes, let's just take somebody who, who does live in their mom's basement. And then they do start working out, shower and stuff. And they start approaching females. With today's society, they're still not going to hit it at the ballpark, bro. And another thing that sucks is that a lot of women, especially today's time, don't understand social media is not real so like they all think that they deserve that social media instagram flaunting life when your options is where you're at so like if you're in walmart every day whatever dudes in walmart those are your options to pick from and if you turn out all those dudes hoping some random nfl player gonna hit you up you are delusional you walking around Target thinking some random MLB player is going to hit you up. You're delusional. You're delusional as fuck. And that's the sad part that a lot of these females are not understanding. And so they turn down everybody in their city thinking that that one, some guy just going to send them that one random dude that's in their dreams that's not how life works on top of that they're turning around, they're turning down all the dudes who are working on themselves and then in the next five ten years they're going to be in a place of life where they're they're doing good for themselves and then you're going to want them and they're not going to want you and that's the sad part but like dudes like him are not acknowledging that they're just putting all the blame on the dudes and it's sad bro is more to it. That's what real victory in real life is like. And because a lot of men feel rejected on dating apps, the number of jobs that are accessible to them has gone down. 
you have essentially a group of men who are saying, I want a low risk entry into life. And they go down a rabbit hole when they don't have social connections. And they don't get out and they don't have the prospect of a romantic relationship. They're more prone to conspiracy theory. They're more prone to misogynistic content. They're less likely to believe in climate change change. And some they come become really bad citizens. We are producing too many of the most dangerous person in the world. And that is a young, broke and lonely young man. Wow. As Professor Galloway pointed out, one in three relationships used to begin at work. Now young people are not going into the office as often. And if you are a young man at work, are you more or less inclined to express some sort of romantic interest in a potential partner now than you were 40 years ago? The answer is clearly no. By the way, Men and women have been told in many places that if you have feelings for someone at work, you have to go to HR first. That'll kill the moment. And I get why that's the policy. I get how we go. No, and that's another thing. Like, you go, you can't even holler the chick at work now because of all that shit now. And that's a lot to do to the Me Too movement and, and, and um, feminism. And, you know, I understand, you know, they put, they had to have laws in place for, you know, because they're creeps out here. And that's another thing. The real creeps out here, bro, the real creeps out here are still, 9 out of 10, the top 20% of dudes that get all the girls because they don't understand what no is. And, you know... It's just, bro, the rabbit hole go deep, bro. It's so sad. It's so sad. And now you got to go to HR. Like, oh, I like this chick. You got to go to HR. The HR got to really send a message. And it's just, bro, I why even go through all that? Man, hell no, nah, snooze. It's over with. Got here having said that, the unforeseen consequences of the Me Too movement or of Me Too in, in general and the problems mm -hmm. that began the movement, that's a show we need to do at some point. And we have to have a really honest conversation about that. But that's not this show. Yeah, we are very well aware what kind of conversation you're going to have about that topic. So of course, going to be about men. Only men have to control themselves. Men have to do this, men have to do that. Women have to do nothing. They're perfect. Nothing. They can't do anything. Nothing. False allegations? Nah, women can't do that. They're innocent. That's all the kind of bullshit they want to talk. And we can already sense it. And the previously she mentioned that like single lonely men are uh, very dangerous and stuff, but they don't uh, seem to ask that why m women aren't interested in those. Mm -hmm. Like they can clearly solve the issue if women are into those men, but clearly women only they up. They're not gonna uh, find some broke guy and settle with him or improve his life. They're not going to look for that. But men, on the other hand, they have been doing that for centuries, looking after this broke woman. That doesn't, be, that doesn't seem to be a problem and it's supposed to be a normal thing. Make it make sense. Mm -hmm. Wow. As Professor Galloway pointed out, one in three relationships used to begin at work. Now young people are not going into the office as often. And if you are a young man at work, are you more or less inclined to express some sort of romantic interest in a potential partner now than you were 40 years ago? The answer is clearly no. So when women are lonely, we are supposed to feel sorry for them. But when men are lonely, we are mocked and called incels. Exactly. That's another thing. Bro. I saw somewhere on the internet. That's another thing that's sad. Anytime it has something to do with, do with men, their problems are just thrown to the wayside and it's just like bro like if a man isn't if a man can't get his knees either and nobody cares about his problems nobody cares about his mental health nobody cares about what he's going through bro that is sad bro like and y'all wondering why a lot of men are like checking out or starting to uh What's the, what's the word I'm looking for? They're checking out. They're uh, they're doing the um, men going their own way movement. MGTOW. 
Maybe that's what I was thinking of. They're doing all these things. Or you got another uh, group of men who just said, fuck it here. And they're just traveling the world and doing their own thing. And it's like, nobody cares about our mental health. And that's that's one of the main reasons why I even, like, do some of these videos. Because, like, let's take me. Like, I can't vent, can't do none of that stuff. So, like, if I'm feeling this way, and I'm not somebody who struggles with dating or whatever, picture the dudes who can't even get their rocks off and, you know can't bet and talk to nobody it's sad dude it's so sad how people view men's problems and they don't give a fuck bro it's so sad and that that hurts my heart and it's just like no wonder that they they're running to people like um fresh and fit and they're running to like these chad is these muscle bound meatheads who ain't who are they, they they ain't they ain't shit let's just be this to be 100 they ain't shit but they have somebody who cares about their problems and they're they're trying to show them ways to fix it is it the right thing to do no are they teaching them the right ways to fix their problems no are they showing them ways to be a better human being in society no they're they're making a lot of a lot of these men actually worse and then like the dudes that the, the, the creeps that you thought were out here that's all they're doing they're making nothing but a, a army of them and you thought shit was bad now shit's just gonna get 10 times worse in the next five to ten years because nobody cares about men problems except for them and so when you get a bunch of dudes who somebody's speaking to them and they're narcissistic or they have like evil tendencies how do you think somebody like hitler get gained power and i'm, and I'm saying like somebody like andrew tate or fresh and fit or hitlers but it's just like everything that y'all think be going on in the world like somebody like raping you and this and the third all that shit y'all be in y'all head thinking that's going on and i'm not saying rape and stuff doesn't happen but not on the scale that females and feminists or saying that's happening. All that shit that they, they done conjure up in their make believe world is gonna happen in the next five to ten years. And I and I'm trying to I'm telling y'all that now. Mark my words. Mark this video and come back in the comments five years later and tell me was I right? Because uh the only thing something has to change, like somebody like and it's not anything somebody like i can do to fix like it has to be something on both ends like you know women themselves that aren't you know believing in like the movement that they got going on have to like be more vocal have they or being the one stepping up talking to men and stuff like they other like it has to be a cultural a society change overall and and, and get to where people just start caring about men as a whole and uh, j just society like society as a whole does not care about men and that needs to change it wholeheartedly needs to change and they said that feminism didn't only free women it freed men from being the family cash cow now that's one way to put it they're trying to use sign language to shame men in a mass chase women again this propaganda is funny Exactly. It always about men being the wrong. A woman can never be wrong. They are so pure. The worst thing anyone is lacking in this society is women and accountability. Men don't need to hustle to support themselves. We can get through life with far less money. Yeah, that's what I said in a previous video, man. Men can live satisfying life with minimal things in life. We no longer have to work as much harder because we don't have to impress women which in return needed like they needed more money because that's what they looked in a man but since we're not interested in women anymore we have a lot of burden taken out of and we can enjoy life more peacefully now well that's just me let me know what you guys feel about this we are women that actually get to live on our own bro for the first time in like literally like history bro i literally saw a girl on tiktok was like we are 
the first generation and a lot of our lineage yes. to be women to pay and paying our, all of our own bills without a man and no kids. Yes. And you have the luxury to choose to do that. Two. This is not like, oh, this is what I well, this is what I want to do. And I don't need a man for it. And if I a man comes cool, but I don't need a man. I don't for need it. him for that. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, OK, like once I started thinking about it like that, it really helped me learn how to be alone because I was like, in reality, I'm looking at my apartment and all this is me right here. Be free and acting up. How is that walking off of future of humanity? Wait, my mom raised eight of us with zero help from 70s. What Rob did he just climb out of? Isn't that what you call adulthood around Robin? Jagger, Jagger, look! I'm a high value man. I've done things to step up my echelon and I'm not going to settle mm -hmm. for a single mother. Yeah, Did I have sure. that correctly? I want to be clear. Yeah, the movie seller. Right. So what makes you think you're a high value man? The car you drive? No, the value I put out into the world. What about your character? I have great character. I built myself to basically have better choices. You want to know why? Because women can choose and make a choice. They can. They can say, I don't want to date a man that makes they like can. six figures. They can. And then what are you doing? You well, demean a man. But we're not talking about that. Women that's can not talk the about situation that happened. What I want Listen, to that's not a your woman can say, I won't date a man less than five, eight. And the man could be five four. Do they do they care about what does that have to do all of those with men? anything? If a fat man is sitting here, he can be a fat man, right? Uh -huh. But if a fat woman is sitting here, you would say, "Oh no, we're body positive." Oh no, we can't say that. We can't. It's all about picking her up. So every time you're saying something for a man, bro, it's down. You got you got a lot on your back. Yeah, okay. Check it, check it. Man, the hypocrisy never stops. Oh, yeah. So he can't have a preference. She made better choices and. He basically said the same thing they saying. Anytime you say something like that for for man, they gonna at your neck. One better was the problem with my son was successful, accomplished, no baby mama and and had a good character. I would demand he never settles for a woman with baggage. Why do women want everything to be about them and them only? Exactly. This is so stupid. The reason why I knew I needed to get a divorce was because I have a crystal clear memory of me having sex with my husband and thinking about this other guy and me th knowing in that moment I have to divorce him because if I don't get I've out of this marriage, before. I'm going to cheat on him. I'm going to try to find this. That's and I know that's really f***ed up, but I didn't want to be No, it's a not. Cheater. It's not. That's happened to me, too. It happened to me, Julie. Come on, man. This woman is so stupid. This is why women with high body count will never be happy in marriage. Exactly. They be constantly thinking about other men or comparing them. She saved her husband by leaving. They always try to justify. Man, this is great. And what's crazy? What's crazy? Hold on. Let's see if I can get this comment. I don't see nothing wrong here. She was not only brave enough to leave, but to admit it and take responsibility of what she felt. It's sad that sometimes people stop feeling the same way, but that's what makes us human. They always try to justify it. Bro, when you get in a marriage, it's death to do us part. And not only that, you have to keep, like, love is like work. Like, you got to keep working towards love. You got to keep you know, doing things towards love. And the fact that she was thinking about another man and stuff like that, that means she never really fucked with him in the first place. She was settling in the first place. And that's sad. Sadly, that's what a lot of women do. They settle for a dude, for a good dude who probably does no wrong or whatever because they could never get that chat to do right and so they're like well i'm getting older i need a man that's gonna really take care of me and have a family and that's and that's the situation you get into and what's crazy they uplift women when they say stuff like that but let a man say any of that and they finna get ran through the fucking mud hey dad listen to this oh, did you know in some countries, men don't even know their wives until they get married? <laughs> it's like that in every country, son. Hey. Cause I don't give a fuck what you say. I guess that's it. Alright, so. 
let me know in the comments how you feel about this video um we on the road to 400 bro. we at 392 i appreciate everybody rocking out with your boy like comment subscribe please and i'll holler at y'all in the next one